Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. Yes, I know you're thinking, Grace, you've done a video like this before. I have done this video before, but seeing as it's basically one year exactly that we have been in a lockdown slash at home, I thought it was kind of an anniversary of doing the trying the TikTok food recipes. I did this this time last year. Wow, such a different time. Well, not different because we've been at home since then. Like emotionally, we just didn't know the year that was coming. Um, and since then, TikTok has just grown and grown and grown and grown and the creativity, the innovation, the development, the recipe ideas have just gone from strength to strength. So today we're gonna to be trying TikTok recipes. Woo! And honestly, the recipes that have been shared on TikTok are crazy. They're either crazy because they're so, so good or crazy because they're whack. And there's a reason they're viral, because they grab people's attention and they're either delicious or they're disgusting. So we're gonna try them today. That's right, my little petals, we're gonna try them. So come on, let's join us, let's go. Now up first, we are actually doing these corn ribs, they're called, and for it we need our good old trusty friend, the air fryer. Love this guy. So we're gonna be trying these corn ribs. So you have your corns, what you do is apparently you try and I don't know how, whether it'll work I don't know if you're supposed to have the husk in it because if it's like a rib that means you have to like work for it remove corn from husk and cut off ends I just go down like that or do I go down my knives are no way near made up for this year on still the exact same knives I might just have to... wow don't try this at home no but it's just cutting them off I don't know how to do this my knife is not good enough for this I almost need a saw to get a saw out. It's supposed to be a rib. I'm gonna wash it. <laughs> Never even happened, okay? Fine, absolutely fine. It's just me eating it. I'm going in with a different knife approach. This, I feel like this is dangerous, guys. <laughs> I don't know how to cut this. Uh, what? What? Don't try this at home. I'm gonna go back to the sawing. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. I want it like a rib! I tried to find my dad's saw but I couldn't find it anywhere and then I thought there was a TikTok trend where people would heat things up, wouldn't they? And then, oh no, the Bunsen... Ah! Bow torches. I really don't know what to do. We call that innovation. We've only got to have done it. I knew I would be able to do it. Okay, and now we... Like a little hammer. That's ribs. Yeah, now we're talking. The next door neighbors probably think I'm hanging up a picture when really, I'm getting a corn from a cob and turning it into ribs. Yay! There are pieces of corn everywhere in my kitchen, but as you can see, we've got it. And now we coat in the little like seasoning solution, which is basically like paprika. <laughs> Why am I so accent prone? How did that even happen? I just smashed my handmade favorite bowl of mine. I painted it with a little swan literally last year. And <sighs> my mum always asks why I always use a metal mixing bowl and that's the very reason. Wow, well, actually I don't know if I should be using this one for the corn, but the, me the metal ones in the washing up because I actually just made a different TikTok recipe which I'm going to be putting up on my TikTok so I don't know if you will have seen this already but it's a two ingredient ice cream cake so you use ice cream and self-raising flour and apparently it makes a cake so that's in the oven and we can do a taste test um, together but I'm actually really sad about that bowl honestly what's wrong with me okay so we've got all the seasoning and the oil in there and we're just gonna make sure it's all rubber dub dubbed. Almost use it like a, a massaging station. I actually really like massaging. I was gonna venture into that world. So sad, Banksy. I am so sad about that bowl. Okay, whilst that's cooking, we're gonna try and actually this one that doesn't really take much preparation which i'm all about less accidents may happen um and we're gonna be making lizzo's nature cereal which it looks interesting um i don't know if it's a joke or not but we're gonna give it a go so you put some berries in a bowl and then you go in with some pomegranates which I feel like is, I love pomegranates and I really like eating them because of the texture. We all know I love a bit of texture. 
So we're going in with some pommies. Then you cover it. This is almost your milk, coconut water. So let's see what the coconut water does. I don't know if I like coconut water or not. It just reminds me of Fashion Week. They would just give out bottles of coconut water everywhere you went for free. Um, so coconut water. And then she says it's key to put ice in it, apparently. So um, I can imagine this is refreshing on a summer's day. It basically is a deconstructed smoothie bowl, isn't it? So this is what it looks like. You've got the ice, the berries, the pommies, the coconut water. Lizzo, I really love you as a person, so I hope that you pull through with this. <laughs> the mind boggles. Why doesn't that actually taste? It does remind me of cereal, and it is so refreshing. I think on a summer's afternoon, you know when you're just not in the mood for anything, this would be perfect. And the flavours work so well with coconut water. And it's cold and it's crisp and it's crunchy. I think the pomegranates truly are what make it. I actually rate this. I wouldn't go for it, like I wouldn't choose it, but I, 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 I'll eat it. Mmm! I'm so confused. Look, it's like at the bottom of cereal milk where the milk goes in chocolatey when you have chocolate. But it's gone all like berry -y. Oh, I kind of love it. Mmm! Oh, it's all popping off. Look at that. Now, ice cream cake bread's just come out. Also, Dr. Otka sprinkles have really pulled through. Do you remember my disastrous birthday cake? Melted all around. That was Tesco sprinkles then. Oh my gosh, everything is popping off. Okay, the air fryer. Let's have a look at our corn ribs. Oh, wow. Why do they kind of look like squid? Okay, well, I'm going to leave those to cool because I know that they'll be so hot to hold. Um, and whilst we wait for them to cool, I'm going to make this chocolate hardened smoothie bowl thing. So we're going to make a smoothie basically with exactly the same ingredients that we just used to make our nature cereal. So one of the chocolate shells, you can melt dark chocolate and coconut oil. And the other one of the shells is where you melt coconut oil, cocoa powder and maple syrup. So it's kind of like each to their own, whatever one suits you best. Dun 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 Oh wow! Okay, so then you take your little chocolate solution, whatever option you've opted for. Um, I'll put both of them in the description box below so you can make either. And as always, tag me because I'll have to see when I've inspired you to make something. Makes my heart happy. And then we basically just pour this over our smoothie and apparently it should almost like instantly set. It's starting to set and then we get to tap, tap, tap away. Okay. Can you hear that? We're gonna go. Oh, I think I haven't let it set for long enough. But it has worked. Oh, that is pretty cool. Let's give it a go, because to be honest, I don't really like the idea of the smoothie with the chocolate. Um, I feel like I like to keep my sm my fruit and my chocolate far away from one another, but we'll give it a go. Other than white chocolate and raspberry, that's the best combo. Oh, that's actually kind of delicious. Oh, it tastes like raspberry chocolate. Mmm. -hmm. This is what I mean. TikTok recipes tend to be absolutely incredible. So again, we'll link this one down below. You can check out because wow. Okay, we are back at our tasting station with our little corn ribs. Obviously these aren't actually gonna taste like ribs, but it's just a fun little new spin on. Mmm. Oh wow. You don't need to cut it into this rib shape. You could just follow the recipe put the oil and the seasoning on and just like roast the whole corn. But the flavors, mmm, this, so good. And also this is so fun to eat. If you have a little barbecue and you have vegans come and you need a vegan option or something, this is a yes. This next recipe is one that I've wanted to try for so long. Um, this is a two ingredient vegan fudge. So in here we have 510 grams of chocolate and apparently you need this vegan condensed milk. I just got this in Morrison's. And you literally just melt in the microwave both of these things together. And apparently you get yourself a vegan fudge. So we give it a go. Um, and also they say to add nuts, which we all know my dad thinks nuts belong in everything from, is this what it's supposed to look like? I've never used baked this before. Oh, she is caramelly. So we put this in the microwave at 30 second intervals. This, I, I feel confident about this one because I'm like, most TikTok recipes have been working. And this has been, this sort of concoction has been around for longer than TikTok, but 
I think it's gonna take a while to melt because it takes 30 seconds each time. I've only done two 30 second intervals, but I think because this vegan condensed milk has high sugar, that gets super hot, so that, that helps melt the chocolate. So I think I only need to do one more little zap in the micro. This really looks like a fudgy texture. <gasps> that was only one minute 30. If this makes good fudge, I'm gonna be flabbergasted because that was literally so quick to make. And I am gonna go in with some chopped hazelnuts because I feel like it might taste like Nutella, I'm hoping. Uh, they said to weigh it, but I'm just gonna eyeball it because I'm a maverick and I can't be tamed. Into our greased tin. She goes, this is what it looks like. It looks, it really does look the part. And I'm gonna just sprinkle over some chopped hazelnuts on top just to make it look more inviting, you know? Should I lick the bowl? Just to check. Mmm, that is so good. Whilst that is in the fridge, I am gonna try this for my TikTok. I thought I may as well include this TikTok. This was me actually making the ice cream bread. Literally was only two ingredients, which actually, I mean, it makes sense because ice cream has like the fat, the sugar and all that jazz in it, which it makes sense why it works. But you know when you just hear that it was purely two ingredients, why did this not come around in lockdown? It's like an alternative to banana bread. Like it's so good to use up things in your freezer and I really wanna try it with like cookie dough ice cream and imagine it with like little chunks of cookie in it. Um, let's just say, it was a roaring success and if you pick imagine like a mint choc chip no i actually have to try this with loads of different ice creams now i was so pleasantly surprised it was actually delicious this is what the bread looks like and it actually looks really good and it smells good but it's actually delicious what the heck i was not anticipating that i thought we would have a fl honestly tiktok what are you doing fam you've got so many good recipes on there Okay, next up, whilst the fudge is still chilling, we're making apple nachos, which I don't know if these will actually be, I think they've literally just called them apple nachos just for a more viral effect, you know what I mean? To me, it literally is just apple with toppings. Well, I suppose that's what nachos is. Nachos are just tortilla chips with topping. I'm really in the mood for nachos now. Thinly slice your apple into wedges. You lay your apple in a little circle on a plate. You can obviously do this however big you want, whether you've got loads of people, or whether you've just got yourself. And then you put a dash of cinnamon. You plop your peanut butter. <gasps> ah! Then you add some chocolate chips, like that. And then you add a drizzle of whatever syrup you want. I'm gonna go for a bit of maple syrup. And there we have our apple nachos, which I suppose does make a fun alternative little snack. Although I don't really feel, if I'm honest, I do just like chomping on an apple. I don't feel it needs all these added, added extras, but let's give it a go. That's fun. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they taste like nachos, obviously, because they're not cheesy tort tortillas, but they are a fun alternative to an apple. If you just, if you're not in the mood for chomping on an apple and you want something a bit more, a bit more filling, that will do you. Oh, that's kind of fun. Also the cinnamon. I actually think the cinnamon really works there and is quite beneficial to the palate. After all that work, all of that hungry, hungry work, I've worked up a thirst and I'm ready for a beverage. Now this time last year, everyone was waking the down going to coffee. Um, and obviously we all know I don't like coffee, but, there's an alternative on the market now, and it's a matcha dalgona. So we're gonna give it a go. You take your, apparently you take your coconut cream, and you whip that sucker up, so. Our coconut cream was reduced fat. I don't know why, we never normally buy reduced fat. Um, so it doesn't whip up as well. Which is annoying, because now uh, it won't be as good. But we're gonna add our, you add a teaspoon of your matcha, blitz it. It is time to assemble the matcha. Our glass here. Going in with a bit of ice. Why is the sound of liquid being poured over ice? So darn pleasing. Our super not whippy matcha because we got the wrong coconut cream. But that's all right. So you can see it's a little bit whippy. Nice, no, not really, is it at all? Yeah, 
so right it's just the matcha at the end i'm still not sure if i like matcha or not but i continue to drink it now the last recipe we're going to try is the one that in my opinion looked the most delicious this is like french toast rolls so you take some bread um, now, this would be ideal in white bread, but my mum doesn't buy white bread. If this works with CD, then it would obviously 100% work with white bread. You cut off all the corners like so, and you roll it out. Go in with some Nutella, and then you just want to roll it up like a little tiny baby. We have this egg, milk, sugar, cinnamon mixture, and we toss it in that. And then we heat a little pan. Okay, let's try our little... Cinnamon Nutella French stick things. They look really good. Mmm. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mmm. I am amazed. These were genuinely all fantastic. And that fudge. I think the fudge might be my favourite, and especially with the chopped hazelnuts in, I highly recommend with chopped hazelnuts. Um, and if you make any of these recipes or anything, um, please tag me on Instagram, on TikTok or whatever. I love to see you guys that have watched my videos or anything like that, and I love interacting with you. It means the world. Um, so I love you all loads. I hope you're having a great, great day. Um, peace out.